She is the CEO of House of Ebony Fashion, a fashion company that leverages on Africa's vast culture in creating Africa art-infused Afrocentric wares that tells an African story. House of Ebony designs solutions, and we are talking of none other than Juliet Obi. Please put your hands together for her. She will be coordinating the session and inviting the other panelists. Um, to this segment. Welcome. Thank you. Greatest Nigerian students! Yeah. Not doing like this is Obon King because yesterday while preparing for this panel, I was just hearing him. This is what he would do when he gathers in the midst of young people, especially students. So if you are once a Nigerian student, maybe you are now in your evening or in your afternoon, you will come back to the morning time of your life and join this panel. Greatest Nigerian student! So, to join me on this panel, I'm going to call Maswell. Maswell, where are you? And Toluwani. So, like the daughter is an ambassador, kidpreneur ambassador, I still have another DJ here, DJ Young Money is also Kidpreneur Ambassador. And we have two of them here, also Kidpreneur Ambassadors that you are going to hear from. Please, can you sit down? So one of the things he said during that conference is that he's releasing a mandate that these children he's speaking to will not only be known in Nigeria, but in Africa and international at a large. And as we speak today, that thing is a reality. Two of them were with me in Kenya during the African Kidpreneur Summit. And because he has deposited so many things in the young people that they started thinking on how to become solution to problems and start creating wealth early. He believes so much that no matter your background, it should not put your back on the ground. So these two kids did something when we stopped at Ethiopia. They went to a woman, two women, and they reached out to them and started pitching their businesses to them. You know that confidence. That is what we are talking about during this panel session. How do you, as a young student, you are in your secondary or your university, there is something in you that you need to switch on. There is something in you that you need to switch on to make a difference. And they started talking. I didn't know I was, we were having dinner. And this was strike a deal of building a website for one of them. This one also sold her products. And when they want to go upstairs, they walk up to me and said, I love the confidence these kids have. How can they, in a strange land in Ethiopia, walk up to people and start pitching their business, talking what they do, and you know, even negotiating for you to patronize them? That is the power of confidence. When you realize your worth, when you realize the deposit in you, so, for those of you in secondary, in university, when you listen to their success story, I believe at the end of this session, you know that I have all it takes to make a difference. So, to you, Maxwell, I want you to tell me a little about you and what you have done that have brought you up to this point, and also to you do that. Good day, everyone. My name is Maxwell Munachim, so I am, I am 14 years old. I am 11 student of Early Spring College. I am the brain behind Mass Code Links. In Mass Code Links, we teach children how to code, animate, graphics design, web development, and game, and game development. I'm also an IT consultant, an aspiring AI expert, and, and, and a coding instructor. <laughs> it wasn't a difficult um, task getting to where I am today. Well, my journey as a coding instructor or as a coder started when my mom showed me the picture of this certain girl named Manuela Mayaki, who was hired by a school in the United Kingdom to teach them coding. I was inspired by that. I became inquisitive to know what coding was all about. Um, at this stage, I was barely 10 years old. So I enrolled in a coding school, and my desire wasn't just to learn coding, but to become a coding instructor like Manuela Mayaki. I was able to achieve all this at the age of 10. Then I got my first job as a coding instructor in a private school here in Lagos, and I earned my first salary. So what I'm saying in essence is that there are steps that I've taken 
to get me to where I am today, which is one, determination, and two, confidence. No matter how, how hard you try, confidence cannot naturally come to you. You must build your confidence. Confidence is undoubtedly the key to success. It makes one feel optimistic, independent, and positive in life. It prepares you for life experience. When you are confident, you embrace opportunities. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Tolwan Miyamoto Sho. I'm a 15-year-old green product designer, the CEO of Voice Watch, and the founder of Evolve Girl Africa. Voice Watch is the voice of sustainability and style, where we create um, earrings from um, recycled upcycled earrings and throw pillows, upcycled throw pillows with motivational inscriptions. Evolve Girl Africa is my non-profit where I mentor girls and help them to become the best versions of themselves. So how did I get here? I would say that this journey began from the very day I was born, but the ones I can remember was when I was around five or six years old. I remember that from an early age, my mom would always tell me, you are made for greatness. You are not an ordinary child. You are extraordinary. I remember that so clearly. And because of that, there was something imprinted in my brain that I am an impact maker. I am made for greatness. It has always been in me. It has always been something I knew I would eventually, that would eventually come out. So. Um, Growing up, I tried a lot of things. My parents are very supportive. They um, help me to express my creativity in so many different ways. They are always supportive of my, of my creative process, of my creative journey. So um, around 2021, I just told my mom that I want, to, I want to be able to say that this is what I've done. I want to be able to say that this is what I've done so far. And so I told her that I'm passionate about um, my gender. I've been, I've been doing so many things. I had been doing so many things about um, that. I had written articles about the girl child. I had done so many things when it comes to um, helping my environment. And I said, I said, I want to make this into a business. I want to make this a consistent thing. So she, um, that was when Coach Juliet came in and Kidpreneur Africa came in and she mentored me. She helped me to develop my business, which is Voice Watch. And then in 2022, I started my non-profit, Evolve Girl Africa. We hosted a free course called Designing Your Dream Life and we reached 33 girls from th from three different countries. And it was such an amazing experience for me because I was able to reach other people and help them to develop their mindsets. So what am I saying? I'm, my confidence comes from my parents and the things that they say to me. They are always speaking positive things into me. I am always hearing positive things. I'm surrounded by so much positivity and love and I'm so grateful for that. Um, I am also um, someone who I would say I was not very confident growing up in my ability to do things. But again, my parents helped me with that. And then watching things that would inspire me and telling myself positive things that, you know, I can do this. I can become an amazing person. I am an impact maker. It's helped me to switch it on. It's helped me to switch my confidence on. Beautiful. So to you, uh, Maxwell, failure, they say, is a vital ingredient to success. I tell people that failure is not opposite of success. It's part of life. When people tell you no, it means next opportunity. It doesn't mean the end of life. So I believe at one point or the other, you must have failed. So can you share that and how did you get out of it? Hmm. Failure. With all due respect, Ma, I wouldn't accept the word failure. It's not part of my dictionary. I'd rather say challenges. Um, in my journey as an IT expert, I've faced a couple of challenges. But what makes you a limit breaker is your ability to tap into your strength and face those challenges. Surround yourself with people who will lift you up. When you are confident, you will try again. For instance, when I wrote my book, Kid Can Code, for the first time, I showed my mom this book, and my mom told me that this book was substandard. Like after giving my all to the book, and this was the feedback I got. It lowered my self-confidence. Due to that effect, I kept the book aside, but with the mindset of not giving up. So as I advanced in the tech industry, I got to learn new things, new content, and I actually realized that it was um, substandard. So I went back to the book, I improved on the content, the context, and now it is ready for publishing. By the way, Kit Can Code is a self-made hand tool to teach beginners how to code from ages 6 to 16. It makes use of um, pictorial representation of step-to-step -step process in coding. 
Another major challenge I faced was um, is um, presently on this course I'm running called MMS, Master of Mind Series. It's basically a software engineering course. I just passed the Java phase. So I had this problem with networking, you know, server, sending information from server to clients, and like when the teacher is teaching class, it's as if he's teaching nonsense. It was just so overwhelming for me. And I decided to give up. I went home and I told my mom about this. Then my mom laughed and asked, what is Java to a coding instructor like me? That switched on the bulb in my head while boosting my confidence. I went back to what we've done. I researched thoroughly and found out that it was just a combination of basic things that I've learned before in Java. This made me to stand out in class. I made a difference in class. I was back to topping in class. Definitely challenges will come your way. But most importantly, one must remain resilient, embrace changes, and overcome their fears. So with all this, you'll be able to overcome fears that come your way in life. Thank you. Thank you so much. So to look to you, success is not a destination. It's just a combination of you showing up every day. Can you identify the ingredients or factors that have constituted to your success each day? Okay, um, I want to say that, first of all, um, I believe that success is the reward of you being willing to fail. You have to, you have to be willing to try and know that, oh, this might not work out, but, you know, I'm going to try anyway. Some ingredients that I think have contributed to my success are, one, a positive mindset. I'm always talking about this a lot because... Saying positive things to yourself does something to you that you would not realize at the moment, but in the long run, you'd be like, oh, when I said this to myself, when I, when I thought, when I sat down and I said, I can do this, I saw a different outcome from when I told myself I could not do this and I hindered my progress. So one thing I would say is that do not be afraid to fail. Fear of failure can hinder your, your ability to achieve your goals and your dreams a lot. If you're like, oh, um, okay, you want to write a book, and you're like, I'm scared. What if I can't write enough chapters? What if I can't say the right things? You wouldn't write that book. But if, like him, like he said, he tried, he saw that it didn't work out, he waited a little, and then he went back with more experience to, do, to rewrite the book, to reconstruct um, his book. You have to be... You have to be willing to fail. You have to be willing to fail in order to succeed. The second thing is the positive mindset. Say positive things to yourself. You can't put yourself down. You, are, you have to be your number one fan. You have to be your number one supporter. I know that sometimes your brain might work against you and be like, oh, we can't do this. We have to run away. We have to hide. But say positive things to yourself, and it will really help. Thank you. So I, to you, Maxwell, you know, Young people, we hear of Jakba, you hear of so many young people who want to leave the country. You know, people believe that uh, the, the country or the continent, Africa as a whole, has its way of limiting us, right? And you can't make it if you are here. I remembered in Kenya, why? Because I had to be in the same apartment with them. One in the night, I woke up, I saw him doing something on the laptop. I was like, Maxwell, what are you doing? He said, I need to deliver this website this night. A client has paid for it. And they paid him in dollars. I was like, look at this boy I coached. You are earning in dollars. Like, I'll tell their parents, you could start paying me tight. Like, he said, I need, to I need to deliver this website today. And I also discovered that during the, the summit, we had to, because we have over seven countries in the room, we have to group them to form companies and ask them to come and pitch their ideas. Come and see them in their WhatsApp meeting. In fact, I didn't sleep that night. So you can see that all we need to succeed is not based on the environment like they said. I used to tell people Nigeria to the world. When they went to Kenya, everybody was saying, your children are exceptional, maybe because you know, they are Nigerians. There is this Nigerian factor. Even Visi said it that Nigeria, other African countries, they are, they are beefing us. You know, sometimes they are beefing because of the Nigerian factor. So tell us, what do you think you have to tell the young people when you consider the fact that you are in Nigeria as a young child who is 14? You, are, you earn your first salary, you are making your money. What do you have to tell your young people like you? Okay, first of all, I don't yield to the concept that if you are living in Nigeria, that you can't make it. If you have a growth mindset, you wouldn't allow the problems facing Nigeria and Africa as a whole overwhelm you. Embrace opportunities that come your way and don't back away from them. 
Refuse not to stay out one spot. I was opportune to learn from chief in your business class that in every child, there are skills, potentials, and innovative. So we, as Africans, as Nigerians, have what it takes to make the world a better place. I've seen this in many of the children that I've taught, like their approach and their concept in solving problems with the little they know in scratch is just astonishing. Even in the face of problems facing Nigeria and Africa as a whole, one must remain passionate, pursue actionable goals, and remain focused. The key to making a difference is inspiring others, willingness to take risks, overcoming your fears, and embracing changes in your environment. Thank you. Thank you. So the last one for you, Tolu, what do you think, um, what would be your advice to children, preteens, and teens, what they should do to switch on their greatness and also their confidence? Okay, um, so I want to say that I have a lot of friends who are super talented. And when I um, hosted the course for my nonprofit, I met so many girls that had so much potential in them, but they did not know how to bring it out, how to express it. I want to tell you today that you have greatness inside of you. There is something inside of you that differentiates you from everyone else here. There is something out inside of you that is going to put you on the world stage. What you have to do is discover that thing. And to discover that, you have to talk to people. You have to express yourself. You have to meet people who will guide you, who will impact you positively. You need to speak to your parents, whether it's your parents, a teacher, someone. Speak to someone so that they can help you to guide to guide, so that they can guide you um, to express that thing inside of you, okay? So you have what it takes to become a global impact maker. You have what it takes to be on the world stage. So don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of failure. Have a positive mindset and be ready to learn. Be ready to be guided. Thank you. For all the young people in the room say, I am smart. I am young. I have all it takes to succeed. From today on, I'm going to switch on my confidence and make a difference. Can we say it one more time? I am smart. I am young. I have all it takes to be what I want to be. From today going on, I'm going to switch on my confidence and make a difference. Thank you. I remain your number one Africa Kid Premier Coach. Wow, this is phenomenal. Please, another round of applause for them. Amazing.